we're going to look at the power and sum rules for derivatives. In the book, they have all these formulas here. I'm going to rewrite these, and it's really important to have handwritten notes because that's how you remember things better. We're going to rewrite these, and I'm going to use some slightly different notation. Uh, there's a few ways to write a derivative. The way the book has been doing it is d dx, d over dx, f of x. So that's the way the book's been writing it. And another way to write it, it was with a prime, and that is basically an apostrophe. It looks a lot like a first power, so because of that, we're not going to write first powers anymore. Uh, and so this is called prime notation. The reason I'm going to use it, no, notation, that's definitely spelled wrong. The reason I'm using it is because it is faster than writing this. All right, so we're just going to go down this list here. So our derivatives, formulas, So first we have derivative of a constant. So here, f and g are functions. Usually they're gonna be of x. And I'm gonna use c for a constant. So first up, if you have derivative of any constant, it's zero. Uh, that's because if you graphed a constant function, the graph would be a horizontal line and that slope is always zero. Uh, next up, derivative of a polynomial x to the n power derivative, you bring the n in front as a coefficient and you subtract one from the power. So the power went from n to n minus one and you multiply by that power. All right, next up is, let's go with the sum rule. So if you have two functions, f plus g derivative, if you add them, the derivative is the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. Constant multiple, c a constant times a function derivative, that is c times the derivative of f. And that means you can basically bring a constant in front of a derivative. Uh, we have a few more. There is, uh, well, there's one special case, well, two special cases of this. If n is one, which I told you not to write, but if you wrote x to the first power prime, uh, I do one times x to the one minus uh, one, which is zero power. So that's one times one, and that's one. And the derivative of x is therefore one. You can also do it with, uh, let's see, could do with a constant uh, where, where it's a zero power, um, but it's probably better to just remember that rule right there. All right, so these are the basic derivative formulas. We're also throwing in exponential and log derivatives here. So our, uh, we'll do the exponential first, e to the x prime. This is a weird one. It's its own derivative. Uh, if you have a different base, raised to the x power prime. It's natural log of that base times uh, a to the x. And we also have a logarithm, the natural log derivative is one over x. All right, so these are our derivative formulas. We're gonna be using these very soon and just compare what I wrote to what's in the yellow box, and there's a lot more written inside the yellow box that uh, you could shorten up quite a bit and just use these formulas. So we'll start doing some problems using these formulas next.